Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Prepare for Team of the Year Part 2. This is a series where I'll be talking to you guys about the Team of the Year and how to prepare and I'm gonna make you guys aware of what all is gonna happen during the Team of the Year. Some tips, some tricks and some methods to basically save up the most amount of points and packing some Team of the Year right there. So guys, this video we are mainly gonna talk about the market crash. So the market crash is the part of FIFA that happens like every team of the year. Every year team of the year, whether you are on PC, on mobile, on console, anything, there's always, always gonna be a market crash during the team of the year. Now what is a market crash? So a market crash is that time where like all the players everything on the market basically reduces in price drastically everything on the market means like literally everything on the market so last week when the 91 rated el clasico players came out what actually happened is the prices of all the players just dropped down all the players like whether it is an ultimate flashback or or an El Clasico, everything was below like 300k, like all the 90 rated players were like so low, so cheap. Now they were at 250k, 300k but right now the prices have started going up again. So this is what's gonna happen even during team of the year. Just when the team of the year comes out, or even a, like even 2-3 days before the team of the year comes out, the prices of all the players will be really really low. And you cannot expect, you cannot literally understand how low it's gonna go because it's actually, it's actually like the El Clasico time, the, the El Clasico players came out, what actually happened, everybody was trying to sell off their players because they wanted to pack and maybe buy, maybe pack some of the El Clasico players because they knew that the prices of these El Clasico players will surely go up when the El Clasico is over. And it just so happened because during El Clasico, so many of them were below 300k. But now you would find like between 350k, which is really really good. In three days after the El Clasico is out off, all the El Clasico players have gone up in prices. All of them. Like I I had nearly bought Thurs Tegan for 300k during that time, but now he goes for around 500, 600k. So. That's actually what's gonna happen during the team of the year. All these players, D. Rossi, Shabby Preto, Modric, even the normal Messi and Ronaldo cards are gonna become half of the prices that they are actually now. So maybe Modric, the 91 Modric, the ultimate flashback Modric will be going around 150 to 160k. Messi 91, the normal Messi card, will surely be going for about 500k. The normal Ronaldo card will surely be going for around 500k or 450k. So that's actually what's gonna happen during the team of the year. Every player, even a gold player would be half the price. Elite player would be half the price because all everybody would wanna do is just sell off their whole squad, open as many packs as they can or buy some of the team of the year players. Wait till like the 1st of January or like the 30th of of December or like Christmas and sell off all your players that sell for a lot. No sell off players who cost like 25k. Sell off the players that cost above 100k because you want to make a lot more coins. And what if you don't pack a team of their you won't have a squad if you like sell everything. So don't sell everything. Buy some cheaper players that are actually good. I might buy like Sipsy because he does a rainbow and he's only 70 one rated I think or 70 rated and he only sells for like 2000 3000 coins so do stuff like that before the market crash I'm pretty sure that the team of the year should be releasing somewhere between January 12th and January 14th like every year and the market crash would start around 2nd or 3rd January because people will start getting to know about the team of the year at that time but I'm really really wanting you guys to prepare just like way before the team of the year prepare a lot before it because the market crash is gonna screw up the prices of all the players everything on the market 
whether it's an uh, even an, an elite trophy would surely be going down because people would want to sell everything and anything they have that can give them coins so you want to be smarter than everyone else and do as much as you can before everyone else does it so you basically want to sell off your players when their prices are still high don't mess up and sell them off when the prices are like half of what they are supposed to be even though there'll be amazing opportunities for you guys at that time to make coins during the team of the year by sniping off players because everyone will want to list their players by sniping off players who are elite like 85 rated players for like 65 70000 coins that's a good snipe but then again you have to wait for a time we have to wait for a few days you have to wait for the team of the year to get over and in order for the market crash to get over the market crash would last for three weeks or four weeks it will start on the jan 2nd or 3rd and it will end by the 20th or 21st so that's like 20 days of a market crash and during that time you will be able to snipe players for a lot cheaper than they are going for but if you actually think you cannot pack team of the years that's your best option but if you have like 500,000 coins or 600,000 coins go for team of the years man if you get a team of the year look just just imagine what you're gonna be you know going through just imagine just imagine what you're actually gonna get how much profit you'll make if you sell them what amazing place they would be what amazing car design and everything so you have to try and pack a team of the year but if you think you cannot then that is the best time for you to make coins literally sell off your players by 2nd or 3rd january or by christmas to be safe just sell off all your good players high rated players that actually sell for a lot of coins during christmas buy them back on the 25th of january buy them back after one month and in the middle during the team of the year crash you can do a lot of stuff you can snipe players you can snipe trophies and wait till the market crashes over just when the team of the year players get out the market crash will start going off but it will be really really slow because people will not have coins they would have spe spent everything they had on packs so there will be very little people who will actually be having coins to buy their team back so they will be looking for cheaper options at that time and they would be looking for 80 rated elites 81 rated elite players and 78 and 79 rated gold players so you gotta be trading with those kind of players not with like Messi and Ronaldo's because yeah their prices will go up but they will take time if you want like just you know profit in like two or three days just snipe some 80 rated elite players that actually have good stats and wait till the team of the year gets over and wait like two three days and the team of the year after it's over just sell off those players because they're gonna sell off because people will want to buy cheaper players because they'll not have any coins so that is like the main part of team of the year right now you have to have to you know be sure that you are one of the smartest few out there you have done stuff that people are gonna do very late so you have to sell off your good players by christmas by new year at the most and then you know sit back and relax because you know you're gonna make coins during team of the year or you know you have enough coins to pack a team of the year and you know you have sold off your players for the price that they should actually be sold for and if you have any questions about the market crash be sure to tell them down below because i'm ready to solve any of your doubts because i think i know enough about market crash and i know enough about the team of the year i've been playing fifa since fifa 14 and I played FIFA 14, I was there during the team of the year. I played 15, I was there during the team of the year. I played 16, I was there during the team of the year. And I know what happens. I actually know how much the prices reduce. Nothing really sells off during that time. Because people are not really looking into buying players. They're looking into get team of the year players. So they'll not be buying players at that time. And the prices will keep reducing because people will be trying to sell their players. They won't sell. You list them again for a cheaper price. Again, don't sell. So it will just keep continuing. And your players will literally not sell during team of the year. So you have to be smart. Do, the, do it at the right time. Do it at the right moment. And if you think you can sell them off right now. Then do it. Then just do it. Because the faster you sell it off. The higher you, you're going to get the amount of coins. And guys that's basically all about the market crash for this time 
So guys, a general doubt that you guys all had is whether it is still useful to actually get the team of their tokens down. Even if you have one or two or three team of their tokens, is it actually useful in the end during the team of their? And now I can actually confirm after I ask someone from EA, I asked Tom Califi from EA whether it is actually useful to start getting team of their tokens now. I asked this on the 2nd December and he told me always we are gonna make sure there are things for everyone. So they are basically planning to help out everyone even if you have one team of their token, two, three team of the tokens, how many ever you have, it's gonna be useful for you guys in the end. So be sure to do the team of their master plans, get the team of their tokens like I did last week. I got the Thiago Silva and I'm gonna show you guys right now how much he sells for and how much I sold him for and whether I made profit or loss and all that kind of stuff. Because now we're gonna go into the master inform plan and the team of their token boys because that's the main part of the team of the year this year. That's the only important difference that I feel like I know yet about the team of the year. The gold inform sell for 2000 coins and the elite inform sell for 150,000 coins but I don't really know how much Thiago Silva sells for. So let's go and check out how much he sells for and let's look at his card first before that and boom there we go we get Thiago Silva man the 88 rated beastly center back right there now we're gonna get the master not the master but now we're gonna get the team of their token that again is like really beautiful and really really well made of a card this time but we're gonna go into Thiago Silva now let's just look at those stats bam that is 92 marking 93 tackling 79 aggression 86 awareness 86 reactions right there boys that's pretty sick that's pretty huge that's an amazing defender but no he's not worth all that amount of coins that he might be worth for i guess because his stats are not really really different from a 84 or 85 rated player so he's worth the sell he's worth selling off now i'm gonna go and check out his price right there he goes for 300,000 coins in my server 320,000 and let, let, let me just check that if there's yeah this one for 310,000 as well so we're gonna sell off mine for 300,000 I guess I guess that should be uh, you know enough yeah probably hopefully let's go with 300,000 boys and let's go let's just sell that off let's just sell that off man no we're gonna go with 299 and we're gonna sell him off for 300,000 exactly so that has the higher chances of selling him off so guys that is the end of this video if you enjoyed it be sure to smash that like button subscribe if you're new to my channel share the video with your friends 100 likes will let me continue the series thanks for watching bye, -bye.